Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are going to get into SnowRunner, and this video is just going to be kind of me talking about what I think about um, the game. This uh, this footage that you're seeing is just it's just me driving around, um, exploring and stuff like that, and I just really wanted to share some thoughts that I have on this game before I really get into... <clears throat> any kind of series, and quite honestly, um, I know I'm a little late on this, um, considering that this game's been out for a couple days, but A, I've been having a lot of fun playing the game, for one. Uh, for two, I was really undecided on what kind of series um, I really want to make with this, because the game is, is so heavily about exploring the map, unlocking the map, and just kind of driving back and forth, but um, I think I know what I want to do now with the series. And um, so let's just talk about the game, shall we? First of all, I, I have to say the graphics, huge, huge improvement, huge improvement over Mudrunner. I mean, it looks like a completely different game. Um, the one thing that I really appreciate is the lighting and the colors because in mud runner it was just it was so dark and drab you know like um even when the sun was shining it you just didn't it just didn't feel real everything was just kind of like uh drowned out the colors were just very boring um you know and it, this game is completely different uh so far i've been on the michigan map um, I did go on the Alaska map just because you have to go in there into tutorial, and both those maps just look amazing. The lighting, the colors, it's vibrant. I mean, it's just fantastic. As you can see here, I'm already stuck in the mud. <laughs> like, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is this is the name of the game. It's it's going to happen a lot. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at the physics for a bit as well, because I really feel that they did a lot better with the physics this time around uh, than what Mud Runner had. The mud looks and feels so much more real in this game. It's just unbelievable. Um, the winch system, they did improve it. There's now like a, a quick winch system that they have that I, I'll probably show that in a, in a different video um, that I really like a lot. And um, what I can say is that the game is just so fun. It really is fun, and I had my reservations about it, I'll be honest with you, because uh, they did release a, an FAQ, <clears throat> like, a day or two before the game released, or maybe it was three. And it was a couple things that worried me, I'll be honest with you. No wheel support. Um, that kind of that kind of bummed me out, because I spent a lot of money on my wheel, and I feel that a game like this um, would have benefited from a wheel, but we'll get back to that in a second. Um, another thing is that they said that the mirrors weren't going to work um, on console anyway. And that kind of concerned me, but after playing the game, I can say that it's really not a bother. It, it really didn't bother me at all, the, uh, the lack of mirrors. Um, honestly, I don't play the game a lot in the in-cab view just because the vehicles look so good, the detail and everything. I, I just I love seeing the outside of the vehicles, and I love seeing the mud from the outside, and the, uh, the, the scenery, and all of that, it's just really cool. Okay, so there was a little glitch in the game, and let's just say that I played the game um, on the first day I got it, oh my god, I probably played this game for a good 6-7 hours straight, and the game crashed on me like 3 times, it blue screened on me. Um, I don't know why. It hasn't done it since, so I'm not really sure. But I know that the developers, they did say that they're working on a patch for it. So now, let me say about the, uh, the steering. The steering in this game is very unique and not easy. Now, my only problem with that is that on the big trucks, the big old trucks, they didn't have power steering, so I get that. You know, you really have to wrench that wheel, and I mean, that's realistic. But this pickup truck here, like, my dad had one of these. He had one of these pickups. It had power steering. There's no reason why 
the pickup truck should be so difficult to steer. Um, when you release the wheel, the wheel should go back straight a lot quicker than it does. So that leads us to talk about the steering wheel support. Um, I feel that if they're going to put steering wheel support in this game, they need to do a lot better of a job than they did with Mudrunner. Um, the way the steering is right now, you're going to have to fight that wheel a lot. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with steering wheel support. Now, I actually watched a video of um, Jeff uh, Faviano. I think that's how you pronounce his name. If it's not, I apologize, but... He was using his Thrustmaster wheel on the PC, and it looked like it was steering a lot smoother than what it does with the control pad. Now, I'm not sure what that's about. You know, that may be a PC thing. I know that on console, if they don't add, like, the force feedback, then there's not going to be any settings. And... That's a downfall of a lot of these games that put wheel support on console is that they don't let you change the settings on the wheel. Farming Simulator, for example, is one of those games that you can use the wheel on it, but there's no force feedback and you can't control any of the settings. So you can't change the dead zone. You can't change um, You can't change anything. There's absolutely... You can't change the sensitivity. It just doesn't work. It just... It is what it is. You have to deal with it. And with this game, I feel that it could be good on the wheel... Um, if they did it right, but honestly, it's it's really it's really pretty damn good on the on the controller too. It does take a little getting used to, and I've seen a lot of people complaining about how the steering is and how bad the steering is. But if you figure it out once you start to understand how it, how it works and how you have to really counter steer, um, you'll pick it up. The only other complaint I really have is how these trucks handle on blacktop. Blacktop is like driving on sheer ice. The truck slides everywhere. It just it doesn't grip, and I just I don't understand what they went for with that because I feel that they've done a really good job driving in the snow and the mud. I mean, look, I'm from upstate New York. We, when we get snow, we get it in the feet. Like I'm no stranger to driving in, in deep snow, and I feel that they did a pretty good job. With, uh, with having the ice and the snow and the mud and all that. But the minute you get on blacktop, those tires, they should bite so much better. And you should get great traction. I mean, that's that's how it really is. So I really hope that the devs hear us on that and, and they patch that. And they do that pretty soon because so far, that's the only real detracting of the game. Is that when you get on blacktop, it's so hard to control your vehicles. If you're, if you're pulling a trailer... Man, that trailer, it'll start to fishtail, and it's like you're all over the road. It's, it's literally like you're driving on on black ice. And that's probably the only part of the game that I feel isn't really fun. Like, you have to drive slower on the roads than you do off-road. And that's, uh, that's, a little, that's a little strange to me. But with all that being said, I haven't had a lot of issues with this game. I've had the crashes. The three crashes were the biggest issue I've had so far with the game. Um, I haven't had a problem really anywhere else in the game. And i got to say, guys, I'm loving this game. Like, I'm having so much fun playing this game. Uh, it's, it's not even funny. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I even thought I would. And I was pretty hyped up about this game um, when they first announced it. I was like, oh. You know, that sounds uh, pretty cool. Like, right here, we just obtained an upgrade. Sadly, not for this truck, but uh, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I was pretty hyped up about it, and then the more they started releasing about it, the more it was like, wow, this game is looking really good. And, you know, I think I think Mud Runner kind of left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Um, but I will say, like, if you enjoyed Mud Runner at all, and I actually did. I did think Mud Runner was like horrible. I didn't think it was unplayable. I uh, I did enjoy the game. I mean, I guess I can understand how some people thought maybe it was boring to just, you know, go pick up logs, deliver logs, blah blah blah. Which I get that, but that's that's what the that's what the game was. Um, Snow Runner is just so much more. Um, 
I mean, it's still pretty much the same. It's go here, pick up this, deliver it here. But I don't know. It's just it's just so fun. It's it's getting there, and it's the different things you can do. And I mean, now you have the ability to have a crane on your truck, and you can actually pick up the um, the cargo. And you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, what's the point in that when you can just quick load? But there are actual missions later on that when you're out driving you're going to have to pick up things in the wilderness and put on your truck to to deliver places so i mean all in all guys i think the game is really good um i know that maybe mudrunner didn't set the bar that high but i would have to say that this feels like the game that mudrunner should have been i think um the customizations of the vehicles the amount of vehicles, the um, the DLC that's going to be coming out for this is just crazy. Like, honestly, I don't normally get season passes for games, but I bought the season pass for this one, and I am super excited about getting into this game, and I can already see that this is going to take up a lot of my time this game, and I'm still not quite sure how to put this on the channel. Um, there's so much to do. There's so many maps. There's, there's jobs that will take you from one map to another map. You have to unlock things. Um, so I think what I may do is just start a new game, show you guys the first couple missions, and then from there just uh, just do missions and record it. You know, I don't know if I'm going to record me doing the actual exploring and opening up the maps. I mean, I may. But uh, I'm really excited about this game, and I really want to bring this to the channel. Um, I'm just, I'm going to be working pretty hard on this to figure out exactly what I want to do, but I think, uh, I'm going to probably just do what everybody else has been doing. Uh, the first real video I put out in it will just be like the first, the first couple missions that you have and maybe trying to explain some of the things about the game. So that being said, guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Um, I hope if you picked up this game, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope that if you're on the fence about it and you're thinking about it, I would say I would definitely get it. I mean, if you liked Mud Runner at all, then you're going to absolutely love this. And I feel honestly that if you just like driving around in mud in, in big trucks and stuff like that, I think you'll really enjoy this game. I think they did a really good job. And honestly, I feel that the, the, the little bit of bugs that the game has in it are okay. Because, I mean, with some games, you know... There's a lot of problems with the game at launch, and I just don't feel this game has that many problems. I haven't seen many at all, like I say. Uh, I haven't had many problems other than the crashing. Um, yeah, it, that's, you know, crashing is always annoying, but, um, you know, I, I think they did a really good job, and I, I, I got a, a pretty good feeling that they're going to stick to their word this time and actually fix the game, and I think they're going to promote the game. So with that being said, guys, uh, yeah, have a great day. Thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next time.